Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Sunday. A little bit of different service. Welcome to the Acres House. Uh, we're actually filming on Christmas Eve. Uh, I asked my staff just to uh, share a little bit about what they're grateful for this year. It's been, it's been a bizarro year. Yes, it's been one of those crazy years, but there's been a lot to be grateful for, a lot to be thankful for in 2020. So um, pour yourself a cup of coffee, um, make yourself an omelet, do whatever you want. Uh, it's not gonna go long here, uh, but I'm gonna send it off to uh, Craig and Letha. Um, it's gonna tell you a little about uh, what they're grateful for this year. Hello friends of Community of Hope, it's great to be with you on this Sunday after Christmas. Uh, this is New Year's week and before long it's going to be 2021. So uh, the customary greeting would be Happy New Year and we certainly uh, share that wish. Uh, and as we think about the new year um, uh, and, and reflect on this year that's been passed, um, the things that were most thankful for this is what we're sharing with you and and uh, the thing that comes to my mind uh, in 2020 we had uh, a lot of stuff planned uh, before the new year started both of us are kind of planners we like to know in advance what we're going to do and uh, make plans for it so we had three very three different trips planned that we were going to take one in the spring one in the summer one towards fall to see some different places. Uh, we'd love to travel, uh, but none of them materialized. They all got canceled because of the, the pandemic. Just to be able to do those kind of trips uh, wasn't really possible. So uh, for the most part, like many of us, we stayed at home most of the time, did a few things that we could do safely. Uh, but one thing that taught me that I'm really thankful for is um, made me realize what's really important because so many things are temporary about life, that, that, that plans we make don't plan out, uh, pan out, uh, and, and they don't materialize the way we want them to. So um, one thing that's stuck with me is the important things are, uh, first of all, obviously our relationship with the Lord and, and our dependence upon Him. We had to depend upon Him in a lot of ways this year. And uh, the second thing would be you know, the people in our lives, uh, our family, our, our, our friends, our church family, you know, all of that, we haven't been able to have the kind of normal relationship, so to speak, face to face and, and do the things we love to do, hug and to, to relate together. But in not having that, it's reminded me how important those are. So much else that, that we couldn't do this year, you know, has come and gone and we can do them again. We can't replace people, we can't replace relationships, what's really important. And the second thing related to that is um, to, to realize um, to hold things in life loosely. That we can't clutch too tightly to the, to the things that can change quickly, which they all have this year. And, and we've kind of had to plow through the dark. Uh, so 2021, 2021 looms before us uh, we don't know what lies ahead. We sure, certainly 2020 wasn't what we thought, but we can be thankful that we we can walk with the Lord and adjust as we go along and, and trust in Him more fully, hold more tightly to His hand and less tightly to the things of life. I was thinking as Craig was sharing how we've learned, I think we've all learned that we have to hold our plans very lightly and uh, not be surprised by the unexpected um, but as as 2020 has transpired and we've been you know in our homes more we couldn't do the things we normally could one of the things that has been a blessing to me is to be able to spend more time in Bible study and I have a friend that I have connected with and we've studied several studies together in the last few months and it's been such a blessing to be able to have that time and to concentrate on studying God's Word and then to be able to share that with someone else even if it was over the phone phone when we couldn't get together when it wasn't safe to get together so I'm really really thankful for that and another thing that I'm thankful for is because of the the 
the fact that we couldn't do the things we normally could, our kids didn't get to do the things they normally could too. And normally our grandsons would be very busy with sports and all kinds of other activities. And they had to slow down and stay home and couldn't do all of those things. And we had a lot more opportunity to FaceTime with them. And sometimes they would just text us and say, hey, Grammy and Grampy, would you like to FaceTime this week? And of course we were always ready to do that. But we also got to do some family face FaceTimes and Zoom times. And I even got to do a baking, virtual baking session with my grandson who loves to bake. And so there were just some real special times that we might have missed out on if we had been, uh, if it had been normal circumstances. So I'm very thankful for the way God used this time to show us some special things that we could be involved in, even though we missed out on some other things. So uh, we thank you for this opportunity to share with you briefly. We wish you a very happy new year and uh, God's blessings upon both your lives and the life of Community of Hope. God bless. Hey guys, uh, Leon's here. Um, you know that 2020 has been crazy. And so um, what we wanna do here is just talk about a few things uh, that we're excited about, things that we're just grateful for um, for 2020, which it's a hard year to pick out, but there are things that um, as a family that we were grateful for that got to happen or that we got to be a part of. Uh, we just hope that you had a great Christmas and um, that you got everything that you desired and that you just enjoyed time uh, with the people that you love and care about. So uh, anybody want to start on something that they're grateful for? Um, I would, uh, what I'm grateful for is food on the table and having these clothes to wear and my parents driving the job. Well, something I'm grateful for is to be able to play football, even though like this COVID and stuff happening right now, be able to play at, like, at least three games with the yeah, Seahawks. Awesome. Um, I think one thing about being grateful for church and even our goal as a family. So um, we pray and, and hope that you had a great 2020 in spite of all the things that happened. It seemed like such a weird and gloomy year, uh, but we pray that you are well and we hope that uh, that you felt the presence uh, of, of God in this season, this holiday season. Um, I know some of you missed family members and things like that, but um, we hope that you're still doing well. Happy New Year. Hi, everyone. Hey, everybody. We wanted to wish you and your families a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and we're just super thankful for all of our friends and our family and our church family. Yes, definitely. We love you all so much and we miss you so much and we can't wait to see you in 2021. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Hey, welcome to the Wilson home. We are glad that you're here. Thanks for stopping by and seeing us. I'm gonna wish you a Merry Christmas. Uh, Rusty sent out and asked us to address a question, you know, hey, what is it that you're thankful for this last year of 2020? And uh, we are contemplating the question, and I guess what came resounding back to, uh, to me and Michelle is, is the, the act of prayer and the prayers that have answered 
for those other prayers that didn't really answer or didn't even know I needed an answer, um, those groanings that you know you don't even know how to pray, and yet an answer comes. We're just overwhelmed at at that. It's just kind of reflecting and looking back at how God has came and protected us, went before us, even though I didn't even know I was hey I needed that. Um, we deal with, you know, in this world of crazy COVIDness that we're at, uh, we deal with a lot of families that, that have lost a loved one to COVID. And, and it's just heart-wrenching. And, and it's moments of agonizing and not knowing, but the amount of protection that's gone across from not just Michelle and I, but our staff. Um, I'm just amazed at that and, and how God has really protected us. And we are grateful for that. Um, the amount of uh, times of him just going before, holding that shield. Saying no when no was right. Hmm. And yes when yes was right too. We're grateful for the no's and we're grateful for the yeses that came to us this year. Yep, we are. We're grateful for all of that. Great for the blessings, the trials. Uh, when you're going through it, you sure don't feel like, <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I'm doing this. But yes, we are grateful. So, although it's been a challenge this year, 2020, we are thankful. We are grateful. We're grateful for you and how you lift us up and you hold us in your prayers. And thanks for that. Merry Christmas, COG. Merry Christmas. Hey, church. Um, welcome, welcome to our couch. Uh, this is Brandon and Gwen here and Millie, our newest. And uh, we wanted to talk a little bit today about things that we're thankful for. Rusty asked us to take a picture in front of the tree or sit in front of our tree, but we don't have a Christmas tree this year, so we dressed our daughter up like one. You should hang, sh pick her up and show her. Show everybody. <laughs> He's gonna yeah. cry. No, it's fine. <laughs> anyway, so um, <laughs> here's Gwen. She's gonna talk a little bit and then I'll finish it up. <laughs> um, I am so grateful that this year, <laughs> I was able to work from home while I was pregnant and will likely be able to work from home when I go back to work um, after my maternity leave. And so grateful for this little one. She's healthy, she's happy most of the time. <laughs> yeah, and uh, did you mention the house? No. Well, one thing we're really thankful for is we came down here and we found a house in Maricopa and uh, we got to move down here and it's, it's pretty awesome, so. Um, you know, as time goes by, hopefully we can start hosting more things over here. But uh, yeah, thankful for the church family that we have. Um, Gwen's had to work a lot, so but I've and we haven't really been able to gather at church. Uh, but I've still had like a solid team week in and week out. Uh, people running, Dave and Tim on the sound. You know, the Michelle helping with the words and and making sure that they're always there or you know ready. And, uh, and then my band, uh, the musicians that we had over the summer, um, and just singers. And I'm just thankful for everybody that served um, and helped us produce what we could make every single week. And just all in all, just thankful that we could keep doing it, um, that we still had that technology, that we could actually still share church and, and be together and worship together separate. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much I mean, there's lots of little things, I guess, but I mean, all in all, those are the big ones. Um, thankful, thankful for, for coffee, and uh, that's, yeah, um, Gwen's cooking is good, and I, I don't want to just say the normal friends, family, and loved ones thing, right? So we got to add a couple more things. Um, ooh, uh, uh, winning in Call of Duty uh, with the boys, and board games. Okay. And, and just, you know, overall, just learning new things and being happy. So, all right, well, we'll see you on Sunday. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so what are we grateful for in 2020? Well, a lot of things to be grateful for. Uh, first of all, we're still married. <laughs> I know it's it's been a tough year, and I'm sure many of you like us, um, there were a lot of a lot of moments where you know I was just freaked out. Um, Lisa's worked every day of this pandemic, and I'm grateful that she still has her health. I'm grateful for our kids, and although they're not here with us, 
uh, this first this Christmas Eve. We're grateful. We still have them. We love them. Um, they're doing fine. Uh, I'm grateful for our church, and I know the others have said that as well. But uh, wow, this church has been amazing. Um, the, the calls, the text, the cards, the gifts, um, just the encouragement from all of you uh, to keep us going. Um, your generosity, your giving, we've been able to help so many people. Um, it's, really, it's really been a blessing to me to watch you to watch you do what you do and to know that uh, the church that we planted 15 years ago uh, has become just that. It's been a church, a community of hope. And although we haven't gathered publicly on Sundays, uh, you still served, you still gave, you still did what uh, what God, what we believe God called us to do here um, some 15 years ago. So um, yeah, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that we're sitting here in a beautiful new home. We have food to eat. And uh, we have a you know nice bed to sleep in, um, and I'm looking so forward to uh, 2020. How about you? Um, pretty much ditto. Uh, if I could get by with that statement, I would, but he won't let me just stop there. So um, I am grateful for our home. Um, it's new this year for us. We downsized and left our family home that we brought our kids up in, and. Um, downsized to a smaller home so we're grateful for that it's a lot easier for us to take care of and manage with everything else that's going on and um, like Rusty said we're just grateful for our health for our, our family's health for our kids um, they've all uh, weathered well through this pandemic um, so we're we're blessed with that um, uh, blessed with my job um, that's kept us going here and um, even though it's been a little hectic and uh, a little more harder to deal with, it's it's still a blessing. And mainly, I guess I'm just really thankful that, um, you know, in the middle of all the chaos and changes and all those things, you know, God is still the center of our lives. And he still um, shows us the, the way and the light and the truth. And um, we can hold firm to that no matter what comes our way. Um, because he's always there to, to guide us and direct us. And so I'm most grateful for that, that that is just um, a strong, firm uh, foundation in our lives. So, Well, last Sunday of 2020, we made it. Um, I'm praying we're sitting here last Sunday of 2021. Um, I know we, we haven't been meeting publicly here over the last month, and, and the main reason was is because I, all, I want to meet with you all publicly in December of next year. Um, so I, I hope you all had a great Christmas. I hope that uh, the new year um, starts trending up. I mean, we have a little bit of good news. We have this vaccine. We have a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, stay safe out there. I, I've said that over and over again. Um, stay connected. I love having you gather with us on Sunday, even if it's online. So we love you all, and uh, we wish you all a very happy new year. See you online, or maybe we'll see you in person again really soon. <laughs> I've said that a lot, haven't I? Love you all. Talk to you all later.